Hello, welcome to today's segment of Nutrition in the News. And today in Nutrition in the News, we're going to talk again about omega-3s and heart health. We're also going to talk about a mineral called chromium uh, and heart health. Nutrition in the News is designed to bring you documented studies from respected medical institutions that show very specific and unequivocal results uh, in tests that involve nutritional supplements. And I always want to say that most of these organizations that we use for these studies are organizations that were more likely to want to disprove uh, the benefits of supplementation or, or certain nutritional things because where they get their money from are the big pharma, big pharmaceuticals, okay? All right, stay with me on this now. CRP, you've probably heard before, is an acronym for C-reactive protein. Maybe many of you have had that blood test done. It is a plasma protein produced in the liver in response to inflammation. Now, atherosclerosis, which is a narrowing of the arteries, goes hand in hand with inflammation. So elevated CRP is considered an important warning sign of cardiovascular problems. Researchers have associated weight loss, exercise, and an intake of vitamin C and omega-3 fatty acids with a reduced risk of inflammation and consequently reduced levels of CRP. A new study from the Medical University of South Carolina reveals that supplements of another key nutrient also reduce inflammation and CRP. The study goes on to say in great detail about how magnesium and chromium also along with omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C, and exercise significantly reduce levels of CRP or significantly reduce this, this, this antigen that shows inflammation meaning that the inflammation which is the, the beginning of all disease, heart disease that this inflammation was reduced and so talking about vitamin C, talking about chromium, talking about magnesium, talking about omega-3 the total living drink contains all of those things but omega-3's and Kylia now has its own fish oil, it took a long time to get it, frank, because we had to find a source that was PCB and mercury free. So we now have our own fish oil product along with vitamin D, and you could read study after study after study on what vitamin D is doing for the heart. But the Total Living Drink contains most all of these things conducted in the studies, about three or four other nutrients listed. And this almost looks like an advertisement for the Total Living Drink, because they're saying that levels of all these things are significantly uh, associated with a re reduction of inflammation or better heart health. So now the Total Living Drink along with the fish oil and you've got everything you need for better heart health and just a better life. Thank you for tuning in to today's segment on the new, uh, of Nutrition in the News. This is Joe Costello signing off, reminding you as I always do, hug your kids, love Jesus, and never ever quit. Until next time.